It avails not time nor place. Distance avails not. I am with you, you men and women of a generation or ever so many generations hence. Just as you feel when you look on the river and sky, so I felt. Just as any of you is one of a living crowd, I was one of a crowd. Just as you are refreshed by the gladness of the river and the bright flow, I was refreshed. Just as you stand and lean on the rail, yet hurry with the swift current, I stood, yet was hurried. Just as you look on the numberless masts of ships and the thick-stemmed pipes of steamboats, I looked. I, too, many and many a time crossed the river of old, watched the twelfth-month seagulls, saw them high in the air, floating with motionless wings, oscillating their bodies, saw how the glistening yellow lit up parts of their bodies and left the rest in strong shadow, saw the slow wheeling circles and the gradual edging toward the south, saw the reflection of the summer sky in the water, had my eyes dazzled by the shimmering track of beams, looked at the fine centrifugal spokes of light round the shape of my head in the sunlit water, looked on the haze in the hills, southward and west, southwestward, looked on the vapor as it flew in fleeces tinged with violet, looked toward the lower bay to notice the vessel, vessels arriving, saw their approach, saw aboard those that were near me, saw the white sails of schooners and sloops, saw the ships at anchor, the sailors at work in the rigging or out astride the spars, the round masts, the swinging motion of the hulls, the slender serpentine pennants, the large and small steamers in motion, the pilots in their pilot houses, 